All right, Pisces, let's get another reading. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. It's going to be for my Pisces fishies. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces collective. Let's see what's going on in the present. What's going on in the now for my Pisces. <clears throat> Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us. And all fears that limit us. So is. All right, let's see what's going on in the present for Pisces. I'll turn this down because it's my jam. All right, let's see what's going on in the present for my Pisces. Oh. What's going on in the present? So first card out, you got the Hermit in the reverse. <clears throat> so some of you guys could be coming out of isolation. Um, let me get one more. What's going on in the present for my Pisces? Judgment. All right. So uh, Scorpio, Virgo energy is here. Some of you guys are just coming out of this isolation. Maybe you guys have been spending some time you know, reflecting on a situation, um, judgment. You may have learned some type of lesson here. What's influencing this? Ten of Wands, yeah. <laughs> okay, so whatever's influencing this, Pisces, is the Ten of Wands. So there may have been a situation here that was extremely burdensome, okay? For some of you guys, you may have felt like you got burned in a situation. I'm just going off the visuals here. But <clears throat> this is like coming out of that, that isolation or that, you know, that deep introspection. So some of you guys may have learned a major, well, some of you may have learned a major lesson here. There may be a situation that you've had to disconnect from, walk away from. Or this is, that's crazy, because the reading I did, I don't know, a couple hours ago, um, I think I touched on that. <clears throat> yeah, so whatever this is, Pisces, the Ten of Wands is here. Whatever was influencing this, the Ten of Wands talks about baggage, burdens, extra weight, carrying, you know, that's what was influencing this. So there may be something here that you've learned you may have even had to look back in order to move forward. Mm, can you see? It's not focusing. See, the girl is like looking back to move forward, all these people, okay? But I feel like you've reflected on a situation, you've put a lot of thought into something, you may have spent some time alone, isolation and when i say isolation out i'm not saying you're sitting there with a bucket of ice cream on your couch uh isolating yourself this is just like something you've put a lot of thought into something and it's like judgment in the upright hermit reverse it's like okay i'm not giving this any more thought okay um this shit was stressing me out something here was heavy heavy on your mind all right, so let's see. What went on in the past, Spirit? What went on in the past, please, for Pisces? What went on in the past? One or two cards, single cards. <clears throat> well, ma'am. Four of Pentacles, three of Cups. Some of you guys could have been holding on to the thought of reconciling with someone or coming back together with something. Um, the full, yeah, some type of a new beginning. Yeah, so if you, if whoever I'm talking to, Pisces, keep in mind that not every reading will resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. Um, but yeah, I feel like some of you guys were holding on to the thought of, you know, coming into union or celebrating or something to that nature. There was something here that you were kind of thinking about, you were reflecting on. And it has to do with some type, possibly a reconciliation or coming together, starting something new or starting something over. 
and it was causing you to feel weighed down, burdened. It's almost like whoever you are, you were sitting here, I don't want to say fantasizing, romanticizing maybe about something coming back around and it was causing you to feel tired, weighed down. And I feel like there's something that you're kind of like, all right, I've got to go forward. I've got to move forward. I've got to come up out of this. It's not benefiting me. Okay. Um, What's in Pisces thoughts currently? A magician. <laughs> One more. What is in Pisces thoughts? <laughs> That's funny. Six of swords, king of cups. This is your energy, whether you're feminine or masculine. But what's in your thoughts? Moving on, moving forward, creating your own pathway here, transitioning. <clears throat> Queen of Wands, yeah. Woo. Queen of Wands and the Magician. This is like filling in your power, okay? Filling in your power like you can create whatever it is that you desire, okay? This is also somebody who could be, you know, I always think of the queen of wands as like someone, whether you're feminine or masculine, someone who's uh, maybe you recently got changed your haircut. Maybe you recently started working out, going to the gym. Maybe you started um, uh, eating differently. You started some type of a new regimen, um, skincare. Maybe you got went and got some new clothes. You know, it's like you kind of coming out, like feeling that confidence, feeling, feeling attractive, create, but this with the magician here, it's like, this is what you're creating. This is what you, what's in your thoughts. It's like, that's powerful. The queen of wands and the magician, the queen of wands and the magician too, could be someone who's into, this is like <clears throat> recognizing your primal power. The queen of wands is also very talented, attractive, witty. Uh, she's unstoppable. Okay. She's a force to be reckoned with, with the magician. Bitches better watch out. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like, yeah, yeah. Whether you're a man or a woman doesn't matter. It's like, I know who I am. There was something here. I feel like, and this was more so, I feel like in your thoughts, like there was something in the back of your mind that was just kind of hindering you and now it's like all right i'm stepping out <laughs> i'm coming out <laughs> yeah virgo gemini aries leo sag energy <clears throat> all right so let's see what's going on in the future actually let's do your hopes and fears real quick i just gotta move some cards here all right, so let's see. What is in Pisces hopes? What's Pisces hoping for? Two cards. What's Pisces hoping for currently? What's Pisces hopes, Holy Spirit? So I seen the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, and then now I got the Two of Pentacles, Four of Swords. So to kind of hone in on that, I feel like you're hope you're hoping to like balance something out to heal, to find some type of peace. Okay, this may have been a slow process for you getting over some type of heartbreak. Um, some of you, this had to do with third party energies. Okay. Um, third party could be family, friends, some type of a betrayal possibly. Um, but I feel like you guys are hoping to, to kind of like let something go. Like, you know, when like you wake up in the morning and 
that person doesn't come to whoever, you know, you had some type of beef with or whatnot. That person isn't the first thing on your mind or even on your mind at all. You're like, oh, it's five o'clock and I haven't thought about that person today. I feel like, <laughs> who am I talking to? Somebody here is like, I can't wait for the day that I don't even think about this anymore. Because I feel like something was consuming too much free, free time, free rent or whatever they call that. Living rent free in your mind. And you, and it was causing you, you know, ex, <clears throat> external burdens or just, you know, it was weighing you down, slowing you down, making you feel like, so for some of you guys, this could have even uh, affected you, like your energy levels. You could have been feeling fatigueish or tired. Okay, what's Pisces hope? Can I get one? Thank you. I'm going to take it. Hi, Priestess. Okay, what is a Pisces fears? So your hopes, Pisces, uh, that you can keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 11, 11 on the clock. Maybe I'm right, okay? Maybe your hopes is like, I can just not say anything. Like, I can use my intuition. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you know more than what you say. And so therefore you may be like, man, I just want to like say woo, 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 whoop to whoever this woo, woo, whoop is. <laughs> and you're just like, I hope I can just like, you know, all right. What's Pisces fears? <clears throat> Some of you guys are like, uh, Someone here, I feel like, too. It's like, I hope I don't text that person, call that person. Uh, what is in Pisces fears, please, spirit? Some of you may also um, know some type of secret here, but you're hoping that, I don't know. Yeah, some of you may be even hoping that you can keep it quiet. I don't know who I'm talking to here, but this is like, you may want to say something. It's Pisces spirit, spirit. Whoever I'm talking to. King of Wands, your fears. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of Wands. So some of you guys could be fearing like setting up boundaries with someone who you find extremely attractive. Um, this dude has blood running down his mouth like vampire shit. So, ooh, someone here. Yeah, this is someone who I feel like drains your energy, but there's... Oh, my God. And you got the King and Queen of Wands here, too. Oh, shit. Some of you guys are like... I don't know. Both of y'all could be very attractive, very attracted to one another, have a lot of chemistry. For some of you guys, this is your person. But with this blood coming down this mouth and this like queen rising looking energy right here, this is like some, one of one of you may be more like spiritually. Oh, spiritually. I don't want to say spiritually powerful, but that almost came out like more spiritually inclined. Uh or just more tapped into who you are and your gifts. High Priestess energy. The High Priestess next to the Magician Pisces. Yo, better watch out. With the Queen of Wands, it's like, you know. You know. You know who you are. You know who you are. But I feel like there's definitely a counterpart here. Okay. Where there's a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry one of this dude like energy vampire he has blood running down his mouth <clears throat> seven of wands it's like can you stand up to this person can you you know you may know something here about this person I feel like one of you may be ascended and the other one, um, 
Damn it. For some of you, someone here is using someone as like their energy source. So if, if this is a passionate based connection, it's like, you know, you need to like pull back from whoever this person is. But I feel like it's hard for you at the same time. But again, you're powerful. You can do it. You can do it, Pisces. You may just need to set boundaries. Not just with other people, but sometimes we got to set boundaries with ourselves, you know? Like, I will not do this, this, and that, and the third. I will, you know, setting boundaries with yourself, setting boundaries with other people, especially people who drain you of your energy. And someone could have burned somebody. Holy. Be careful with that energy. Yeah. yeah. It's like setting boundaries with your wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. This, I feel like, almost hurts you, Five of Pentacles. Like, this almost, like, yes. The Hanging Man, Five of Pentacles, Pisces. This possibly makes you feel, like, left out in the cold or you feel um, some type of lack without this person or this person feels some type of lack without you. <clears throat> oh, I wonder if this is, like, Twin Flame energy. Yeah, like, I again, Nine of Swords. I feel like this shit stresses you out. Like, cause I, you want to give somebody love. You want to like show somebody nurturing, compassion, emotions, that genuine side of who you really are. But I feel like this person drains you. <sighs> Pisces do that shit a lot. I mean, so can other signs, but sometimes we like, you see the good in people. And so like you see the potential or you see the good in people that sometimes you you just see the potential of people rather than what it is, you know? But I feel like you actually see that now and that's what makes it difficult is because I don't feel like you want it to be like this. The four of pentacles, three of cups, full card, it's like you're holding on to a thought or holding on that there would be a new chapter or some type of freedom and happiness that comes back into a situation. It's like almost like you were holding on to a memory or holding on to an emotion of happiness or maybe how somebody made you feel. Ooh, the full card three cups. Maybe that's what you're holding on to. How somebody made you feel maybe free. Maybe they made you feel alive or in some sense. But it's also became some type of a draining energy energy source. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the future for Pisces. What can Pisces expect in the future of this situation? For some of you guys, this is like your person, but you know you can't. What are you gonna do? Lower your vibration to to match someone else? No. Sometimes you just gotta like know your worth and hold back from somebody your into your intuition screaming at you and i feel like this that with judgment being here i don't know the judgment being here like the center i feel like there was some type of a lesson that was learned out of this situation like a major lesson and possibly you know with this judgment it's like how i said it's like you look back but it's like you know you need to go All right, so what can Pisces expect in the future of this situation? What can Pisces expect? And keep in mind for everybody, it's going to be different. So, you know, this is just the current energy of me reading this. What can Pisces expect in the future two cards? Eight of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Fudge, Five of Swords, Nine 
There could be some jealousy, some mind games. There could also be a situation here. Ugh. Seven of cups on the bottom. Give me one more. I feel like someone here may like try to turn the tables in a sense. So it's like if one person says, um, or doesn't say nothing. It's almost like a mirroring type of energy. Like if one person doesn't say something, it's like the other person will try to like make the other one jealous. Or and keep in mind there's no gender. I'm just gonna read it how I see it. So with this woman, she looks kind of saddened and he's like tipping his hat, like, yeah, whatever. And then you see this woman's got like this dagger in her hand. And then the Eight of Pentacles is like, there's a story here. So this is someone I feel like you have past history with. But something here, like the pages are burning. Something here is burned. Someone's reputation. Again, that energy that I was feeling over here, it's like someone's trying to like, about, like the story is burning smoldering it's going up in smoke so it's like almost like someone's trying to like how do I put this into words someone's trying to burn the past whether that's you or whether it's this person but I almost feel like if one person says what well, I don't know who's who here but one per one of you is gonna say I feel like this is strong counterpart energy, but I feel like there's been a lot of drama, a lot of mind games. There could have been some type of com comp competing, okay? Um, and I feel like if one person is going silent and not saying anything, the other one is trying to act like it's all good. It's all good or trying to like, it's almost like trying to get a counter response. This is just exhausting. Like we are never getting back together, like ever. <laughs> that was what I didn't hear that part but I had to think of what song that came off of but I heard like this is exhausting and that's this like that was that what was the influence of whatever was happening here was this something here is exhausting it's like it's burdensome the mind games the fucking silent treatments the acting like everything's okay when it's not Yeah, someone's reputation. Eight of Pentacles can talk about reputation too, you know, consistency. Something here has been burned. It's like. This could have also, you know. I'm getting like something like water under the bridge. There was so much that happened here that in order to like rewrite a new story. Or to put in any work. I mean, I don't even know. I don't, to be honest, I don't think it's... For whoever I'm talking to, you may... This is like when a Pisces fucking is done. A Pisces is done. Tell me if I'm wrong, y'all. It takes a lot for a Pisces to be done. <laughs> for sure. But when they're done, they're done. Okay, once his book is, like, burnt, like... Because you hold... It's like you're the keeper of secrets, Pisces. The high priestess. So it's like you... You hold a lot of shit in. That's why Pisces take a beating sometimes. Because we can keep a lot of shit in, keep a lot of shit to ourselves. We hold in a lot of emotions, a lot of... And the, the Hermit too in the reverse, next to this Judgment card... Um, Talking about the present, the hermit can talk about, um, in the reverse, it can talk about paranoia. The judgment can also be like reconciliation, forgiveness. So it's like, you may feel like, you know, when the, like when people, when you care about someone so much, it's kind of like, and you just want that person back. I feel like you've, you've came out of like this deep thought 
or a, you've put a lot of thought into something and you realize like maybe even if this person did come back, it would never, it's like you're paranoid about reconciling. You're paranoid. Can I forgive this person? Or are you just going to hurt me again? You can't build a relationship with that energy. Sorry. I've tried it. You can't. It's doomsday. <laughs> you got to heal that shit. You know? Or if you feel that way, then you, you, sh you know, you can't try to rebuild on, on insecurities or fear or worry that someone's going to do the same shit to you or that, you know, I almost feel like whoever I'm talking to, you feel stronger when you're not. You may like this person. I don't know. Maybe you even love this person. I don't see like really any cups out here, but you guys are showing up as counterparts. So maybe the chemistry is good. Maybe there's just a strong magnetic attraction. But I also feel like you feel stronger when you're not. You feel stronger when you hold back from this person. I feel like this, this person could make you feel weak in some way. With these two fives mirroring each other, something here needs to change. And I also feel like you two could bring out... Um, Mm -hmm. the more manipulative side to one another doesn't mean you guys are bad people you know I'm not here to judge but I feel like <clears throat> that's why this every time you try to work on it with this person it gets sabotaged there could be other people in this uh I'm just not really seeing them here. There could be other people here also causing conflict. Can I get one more for the future, please? Some of you guys may be into like some type of spiritual work too. I just realized high priestess, eight of pentacles next to each other. Some of you guys may do, you know. I'm seeing so many messages. This is like, For some of you, there could be a diff, and I'm not necessarily, hold on a second. This is crazy. So some, for someone here that's listening, you may do something in the spiritual, you know, Reiki, uh, you may get tarot readings, you may... Uh, be into candles and fucking fa la 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 hum ba ba. I don't know what that is, but you might be into crystals and somebody may be like, oh, like I feel like there's a clash of like perspectives here. And this King of Wands next to this Five of Wands, Queen of Wands, it's like there's a very strong magnetic attraction. What do you call that? Fatal attraction. Like, can't keep my hands to myself. I mean, I could, but why would I want to? <laughs> I don't know. There's something like that. And, um, but this person could be, and there's nothing wrong with it, but with this five of wands, king of wands, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign. This is strong Leo energy, though. I just realized that, too. Someone may have strong Leo placements. Leo's what? Fifth house? Fifth house is about love. Someone could... 
Oh my God, I'm getting too many downloads here. Someone here could, um, I don't know how to say this. Someone here could be like battling with ma matters of the heart or love is a battlefield. Maybe that's how someone feels. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's why he has blood going down his face. But it's like, I also feel like someone here, um, like their passion or their attraction. You know what I'm thinking? It's like that, oh. I don't know what I'm thinking. What's that movie with um, Cameron Diaz, the funny little redhead? It's an older movie. And anyways, the little redhead, she's married to her husband and the husband is like some like a uh, really wealthy business guy drives like a little cute car and then he starts dating Cameron Diaz and then they all find out that there's another mistress and she's just like the ditzy redhead that didn't see any of this and her husband has like all these different women and excuse me they kind of like set him up <laughs> and I'm not saying that this is what this is but that's kind of like you know when someone's like super attractive and it's like people get other people throw themselves at that person some, sometimes people just carry that energy of like, <laughs> like that very flirtatious, uh, like they can sell water to a camel. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but I feel like this is somebody who's like love is a battlefield. It's almost like I can't keep my hands to myself. I could, but why would I want to? Like, I feel like you guys could be soulmates or counterparts, but I feel like this person, I, I strongly feel like it's the masculine in this energy, does not have to be a fire sign. Maybe they have Leo in their chart, Sagittarius, Aries. But, um, yeah, and the wheel on the bottom, this person could have a lot of fixed energy as well. So this person could be someone who's stubborn or just hard to change. I don't know. Um, yeah, that was a battlefield, but I'm just going to get off that because where were we? It's almost like realizing like your soulmate won't commit. They won't change or like, they just have certain ways that, um, didn't we see that seven of wands too with him or with her? I can't remember now. Oh, it was with him. Maybe this person has a hard time. Maybe this person lacks boundaries. And so then you need to set boundaries with this person because you realize that this person, whatever. There's some type of conflict here. Someone playing mind games. This can also be someone who's kind of, I feel like, I don't feel like this is one way. I feel like this is both ways. Like somebody here, you know, is like, got this real weird notion of like conniving type of energy or backstabbing or this person could gossip a lot. There's something about someone's reputation here being burned, all right? And I feel like this person brings out Oh, I just seen something else. This reading is crazy. I ought to use this deck more often. I go through phases with decks, I think. But uh anyways, I feel like someone brings out the manipulative side of I already said that earlier. Someone brings out like the 
the mind games, the, and it just causes more conflict. Five of swords, five of wands is another 10. It's like, you can't build something on physical attraction or even lust or chemistry. You know, there's something here that's lacking. And I feel like it creates more hardship. This is a lesson. Maybe you're meant to learn a lesson from this. Oh. Um, some of you could be the Pisces masculine too. I'm just saying. Don't get in my comments being like, girl, bye. Flip the rolls. All right, let's get the last card. Because, yeah. Show me what's going on in the future. Because, I don't know. And I meant to say this earlier, but I didn't. But see, I'm, I'm going back to another deck that I have here. See how she's, like, painting the flowers pretty like they're darkened flowers and then she's like painting that one bright it's almost like somebody here <laughs> party where you play <laughs> party pisces 3636 were you guys playing tea party okay like were you in fa la 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 hum ba ba <laughs> um some of you guys were like that's where i think i got that romanticizing something it's like painting the flowers painting Painting the flowers red or some shit like that. We're painting the roses red. That's the name of the card. Yeah. So anyway, I feel like. Is that a mistake? Mm, I'm just going to pull one from that. How about that to close it out? That's what we'll do. All right. Give me the last card before I. I'm always like, I'm going to do a fake reading. Yeah. Oh, it came out anyway. The wheel. Well, what's the wheel? Because that is, po that, that's positive shift. That's change. That's something here. What's shifting? I, I, I keep wanting to say someone ruined their reputation. Like someone sabotaged. Like there was supposed to be something here that was faded. With this wheel coming out, there was supposed to be a story here. And it might have even been a bigger story. Like... But I feel like it's it's gotten destroyed by someone's behavior. Give me one on the wheel. This very much so could have been a faded connection. But someone keeps sabotaging it. Someone keeps creating conflict. I wonder why. Oh, show me the five of swords. The two of wands. Because... Mm. Give me the five of wands. I feel like someone here... Um... Uh-uh. Okay, this reading just got dark. I don't want to go there, but. Um. So someone here could feel like just 
Just fucking say it, woman. I feel like... Can I even say that? Someone here may be like soulless, okay? I don't know what the fuck that means or even if that shit can happen, but that shit's brutal. You know what I also feel? Oh, I feel like this fucking reading is draining. That's what I fucking feel like. Um, again, I feel like you were holding out hope that something here could work out and someone would like make a choice. But it's like... Let's just say... It's like someone was holding out hope here that something could work out through pentacles. It's like you're looking into someone that's soulless. It's like you're adoring. I'm sorry. This is like so brutal to even say. And I'm not being like funny and I'm not trying to like, I don't even like talking about this stuff or even saying this stuff. This sounds crazy to me. But, and maybe I'm just speaking in like the words that are coming, but maybe it's not so like soul snatchers like the ghostbusters like soul snatchers Dun -dun -dun -dun. okay but this is like i don't know i feel like you're looking into someone who's like i'm sorry but they're empty empty it's empty something here is empty pisces It's not coming back. Then you have the tower and the angel de la nuit. Okay, this is a protection angel. Then you have the eight of cups on the bottom, king of swords. It's like, I feel like you were guided to... All right, so... I am the angel of the night. If you've picked me up, then my message to you is that the inner night is coming to an end. You may have walked through darkness for some time, but soon, very soon, a new full moon will arise and will show you the way. My phosphorescent butterflies are here to guide you. Believe in luck. Believe in me. Believe in you. My black, soft wings are protecting you from now on. Into your heart, I whisper my sweet lullaby. Have no fear, honey. Everything is going to be fine. The night is nothing to be afraid of anymore. And the warm sun that you hold within is ready to shine again. Okay, so Eight of Cups and it's like walking through the dark, like this dark walk or whatever. And there goes protection again with the hair font. Ten of Pentacles. Damn! Pisces. You know what's standing between you? You and this Ten of Pentacles here? It's God. Let that sink in. All right. Yeah, some of you guys may be suddenly or unexpectedly making a decision to de detach from a situation emotionally. And like I said before, with that judgment card looking back, but going forward again, you see it again. It's like she's still looking back, almost knowing that you have to walk away from something for your own good. For your own good, Pisces. And now when I was talking about that soulless part, like somebody, I don't know how to even feel, but about that, it's not my area of expertise, but it's kind of like, let me think about that. It's like someone could just be heartless or like they don't have that consciousness awareness you know um some people too carry a lot of attachments you know sexual demons and shit like that or any type you know for that matter but 
And for someone here, this person may even have an illness with this blood running down their face. You know, metaphorically, someone here could have like some type of a some type of a spiritual illness. Okay. Yeah. Just know that angel is here to protect you. Okay, the night, this dark night is coming to an end. Or it may not just be a night, but can I get one card for Pisces so we can get up out of here? Out of here, out of here. Y'all gonna make me walk away. Walk away up in here. Up in here, up in here. Can I get one card, please? Well, I said just one. Remember to practice self-love potion stars. You can manifest your every wish. Yeah, and you're in control of your own narrative, okay? That's kind of what I was getting with this book. It's like something here, someone's thing has been burnt, okay? And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're taking control back of a situation, realizing who the fuck you are. Sometimes we give people, I mean, I know I've done it. You give people too much power. You know, without even meaning so. Sometimes uh, just by loving some. This is this is crazy. I could do a whole reading. I mean, not even a reading, but a segment on this. It's like when you give the wrong person with someone who, who has bad intentions, five of wands, this person may even have a bad fucking reputation for doing this. Maybe that's why I keep being drawn to that eight of pentacles and this five of swords, five of wands. It's like some of them already have a burned reputation. But anyways, sometimes by loving, you know, certain people, we give away our power. Like I said, that facade of what we think something is. Or, you know, fantasy. Uh, okay, let me just focus. Can I get one card, please? Holy shit. What is the most important message for Pisces, please? Majors I got here is Virgo, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and I did say Virgo, right? And Aries. But it could be anybody. Come on, can we go? Library. Oh my god, you got the same two cards. Y'all seen how many times I just did that. So I guess I'm reading both of you. Okay, number five talks about change. 22 choices. Okay. Um, you got the choice, Pisces, to make that change. Stars, you can manifest your every wish. It is time for you to take your goals and turn them into your reality. Create that dream board. Wish upon those shooting stars. Write in your daily manifestation journal. Cast a small or large spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve. Given that it is best for everyone involved, keep in mind that you can that you also need to believe that you deserve it. Um, okay, I'm not going to go into that, but uh, with that magician and that queen of wands and that high priestess, it's like you. Like I said, something here was faded. You may have met this person so that you could realize who the fuck you were. Okay, sometimes we have to go through negative experiences that don't turn out the way that we anticipate, but it also helps us grow. You know, maybe this was whoever I'm talking to. This was a lesson for you. Like sometimes we don't realize that people can bring out our bad sides and it doesn't make us our, our bad side. But sometimes you have to like, you know, those shadow energies. Sometimes we don't know them. We don't believe them. We don't understand them until you meet that one person that triggers those shadows within you. And once you recognize that, you can heal it, you know, and grow from it. But I feel like someone here may have also, the attraction, the chemistry was something that like, like that fatal attraction with these two, you know, this could have just been like a soulmate connection. Soulmates come into your lives for all different reasons. And I feel like it benefits both. Okay. So 22 
Take control of your own narrative. Someone else is trying to call the shots in your life. They think that they can waltz in and control your every move. You need to say no to their manipulation. It might seem tempting to relinquish control, but if you give someone else power over your narrative, chaos will ensue. It will all be in their favor, not yours. The stories inside of you make you a library on the verge of bursting, but only if you are the one to pick up the pen. What was I saying, Pisces? This card just like summed it up, like for real. Like someone here is trying to manipulate you, but you need to set up boundaries and, you know, whatever this tempting shit is, this person is tempting. Okay. Chaos will ensue. And that's that five of wands, five of swords, eight of eight of pentacles. It's like you need to be the one to pick up the pen and re rewrite this book. Let this shit burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Do you want to write about more chaos, more drama, more backstabbing? I'm just saying. All right, Pisces. I love you. Holy balls. This was a long reading. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm going to make them shorter. I'm really going to try. Okay. But until I do, be sure to hit that like button. <laughs> I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.